This is Ernie Goldfinger's Brownfield Estate and it's time to go urban exploring part three. So then, see part one and part two first if you haven't yet seen them because this will explain about this estate because this estate is pretty amazing. So make sure you see part one and part two first. So then, part three, I can now get through the security doors into all of the secret areas. So then, First into Caradale House. So then there's bridges across from the lift tower to the two main towers on floors 3, 6 and 9. In between each one of these main floors and the lift tower, there's a secret floor. So this is mezzanine, floor 8, 7, 8 and up above to the motor room level. So let's start this off by going straight up to the motor room. So up the stairs, beyond floor 9 we go and up to the motor room level. So then on the motor room level, we're, here's the door into the motor room and we couldn't open this door, which is disappointing. We noticed the sign on the door. It is alarmed. This place is really secure. I'm not quite sure why this estate is so secure, but it is. I'm very glad actually we didn't open this door after all that. That is scary. But the stairs carry on upwards, up, beyond the motor room level. We go through another security door and into this weird little room with all these weird concrete bits. That is weird. Why does this room look like this? Look at the concrete here. What is the purpose of this room? That is so odd. It's like this is right up the top of Caradale House now. Weird creepy little room above the motor room. Very weird. And in this room, there is a ladder going upwards onto the roof. Yes, we managed to roof Caradale House. Now, let's walk down the stairs to the secret floors in between each main floor on the lift that has the bridges across to the main part of the tower. So these floors are mezzanine, 4A and 7A. So then, down to floor 7A. Now, the lift doesn't stop it, but the only one of these secret floors the lift stopper is mezzanine. And sadly, we were not able to get into floor 7A because the door was completely buggered. So then, down we go to floor 4A and we managed to get into this secret floor. Yes! So then, here is the secret floor 4A. This is so creepy. Just take a look at this. Completely abandoned. Really spooky. I'm not sure what's here. This looks like toilets or something, but it could have been one of the laundries because the lifts don't stop here. This is a really, really weird little secret floor. And now, carrying on down the stairs, we go to mezzanine, which is a little secret floor between ground floor and floor three. And the lift stop at this floor. But remember in part two, when we managed to open up the lift doors here when surfing a lift, there was this lagging behind the lift door, so we weren't able to get to this floor. But this time, we are able to get into it. And here is mezzanine. And just look what's missing. The lifts, they're completely passed over where the lifts are. Which is really weird. Why they bother even to do it? So I'm about a little secret floor. That is so odd. This floor is obviously a laundry, since so the lift stop in this would have been where people did their washing back when this laundry was open many years ago. Now, now we go across the bridge to the main flat area of Caradale House. And here is a weird little cupboard, and I really do not get the point of it. And now, up we go to the main roof area of Caradale House. Coming up Caradale House and along we go to Glen Kerry House. This one's slightly different to the others. Once again, it's a main floor every three floors, but in between these floors, there's some other little bits like different flats and that, so it doesn't quite have the secret floors like the other ones, but it does have the secret area right up the top of the tower. So then, into the lifts we go, which are actually more original because these are express lifts, but rather than being modernised by generic, they're modernised by Otis, they actually do look quite a bit more original, which is really nice to see. Hmm. 
Twelfth floor. Doors opening. So then up we go to floor 12 and let's walk up the stairs and into the motor room. Yes! So we managed to get into the motion and here is the logic and I've actually seen logic like this before this is what Otis used on their mod list I don't particularly like this logic that much because it doesn't have intelligent leveling and to be honest from something from Otis you'd expect better than this but nevertheless it's quite interesting simply because he's got his nice inspection control on it so you can like, have really nice full control of the motors from the motion which is really nice carries on upwards through a security door which we are able to get through and up we go to the roof level yes we managed the roof Glen Kelly house and here is the roof and this is so weird we are actually on the roof of this building and this is quite a creepy roof area and one of the weirdest things about Goldfinger's buildings is they take a look at the boiler room which is even higher up than this it's got big windows around it it's so weird why do you put big windows in the boiler room was this originally intended as a viewpoint and then I changed to a boiler room at a later date or something it's so weird and this roof level is pretty creepy it's really fun being up on the roof here Now, you think the roof is the top floor? Well, it's not, because you've got a boiler room thing. The stairs actually carry on upwards beyond the main roof level. So up the stairs we go and along to the boiler room. And sadly, it's completely securely locked. We weren't able to get in the boiler room. But there's a ladder carrying on upwards. So right up to the roof of the boiler room we go. And here we are, right up the top of this building. And this roof level next to this weird looking boiler room that looks more like a viewing area than a boiler room. It's so weird up here. And now it's lip surfing time!
And now, along we go to the main attraction, which is, of course, Balfron Tower. So, into Balfron Tower we go. And Balfron Tower has the main floor every three floors with bridges across to the main part of the tower. And the lift tower has additional floors halfway to each one of these main floors, which are the secret floors. But this time, we're going right up to the top, up the floor 24. And this time, carrying on up the staircase, up to what is above floor 24. So, through the security door we go, up to floor 25 where there's another security door and this one is completely secure. This has to be the securest motor I've ever seen. Not just does it have this massive security door, and I can't really give out value details about how we have access to all these security doors, trust me, it is really secure. But beyond that, there's another security door which is this lock somehow a magnet lock or something which we just can't get through at all. This is the most secure motor room I've ever come across. This little area beyond the first security door up to where the second security door is, is so creepy. And to make this even more of a mystery, on the wall there is a riddle written by someone who managed to get beyond the second door. Is this a clue? Is this a secret message of how you get beyond the second door? Take a look at this. Wow, magnets, that will stop me. Ha ha. Someone's got past it, but what is their secret? How do we get the second door open? We looked for ages and we couldn't work it out, I and mean, we really did look. We even actually found a switch to turn off the power to the magnetic doors going into the communal areas, and we actually turned this and saw all those doors went off, but even that didn't actually unlock this door, so we really do not know. So if any of you out there know how you get through the second security door, please tell me, because I'd really like to know. So then, even though we weren't able to get up to the lift motor room in this part of the tower, we did manage to go across the bridges to the main tower at Balcony Tower, where the flats are, and we went up the stairs at the other end, and we managed to get on the roof of this part. Yes! We managed to roof Balfour Tower! Yes! Let's finish this video off by going back to Caverdale House and going up to the motor room which is alarmed and going in it. And when we went in, we saw there is a magnetic green switch on the door which is wired up. We have triggered an alarm to so film this motor room quickly and get out. 